striking union members use these trees for shade. I laughed for five minutes straight just because of the pure cruelty of this. Then NBC Universal chopped off the tops of them. You know how it is in California, right? Oh, yes. All these protesters were <laughs> taking cover in the shade. Members claim the studio intentionally butchered the tree branches to take away a much needed source of shade during high temperatures. So the studios, against the law, chopped the trees down <laughs> and took off all the branches uh. so there's no cover. The WGA and sag after unions have reportedly each filed unlawful labor practice charges against NBC Universal for creating unsafe conditions at picketing sites. Uh. So they were fucking in the heat just uh -huh. frying. Uh -huh. It was so hey. fucking evil. The studio apparently didn't have a tree trimming permit in the first place. Los Angeles city officials said no permit had been issued for trimmings in the past three years at the location in question. Because they're like, fuck it, we'll pay the fine. Cut down the trees. That is take so, away all the leaves. That's so funny. <laughs> fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> oh, they're so... Like, I love the videos of comparing the salaries of all these CEOs. It's like oh, over 100, 200 times what a writer would make. Yeah. It's fucking insane. And they can't do anything. Like, they're like, that's, some people are like, hey, we just want our health benefits. And they're like, no. There's a level of expectation that they have that is just not realistic. And they are adding to a set of challenges that this business is already facing that is, quite frankly, very disruptive. So they're not being realistic? Uh, no, they're not. Why not? I can't, I can't, I can't answer that question. Yeah, like literally no. the CEOs make so much no. money for just overlooking shit. But the writers literally have to come up with the shit that makes the CEOs money. Dude, I don't, I wonder how this is going to end. Genuinely. How do you think this not is going to end? Not good. It's not going good so far because ABC and CBS are filling in their TV guides for the, for the fall winter because they need some content to put out there. Yeah, they're putting Miss Marvel out there on ABC. This shit better end quickly. You know, it doesn't get even worse. They're going to put Miss Marvel and She-Hulk out there probably. Like, no, this oh, better man. hurry up because I don't want She-Hulk out there. <laughs> Fuck that. We don't need Megan well, the Stallion twerk on ABC for <laughs> prime time, you know, to little kids after, you know, <laughs> Paw ABC on. family. Hey, ABC Paw family just working ended, on yeah. the desk. Paw Patrol just ended. Now let's cut to the she hulk or Megan the Stallion's unbunning her top and twerking halfway, you know? Yeah, like yeah. He almost hasted that. No num 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 eat it up. Go play okay three two one. You know I'm the hottest. You ain't never gotta heat me up. I'm Oh, you are way more fun than my last lawyer. I will kill for you, Megan the Stallion. Dial it back. Yeah, that's great. You go from Paw Patrol to yeah, I'm a slut to like five seconds. <laughs> The thing is, like, because it's going to be paused for a, a definite period of time, that means in the future there will be a large chunk yeah. where just nothing was made. So there ain't going to be any movies coming. Out. Think yeah. about that. We're going to have a period in time here where the movie theaters are just going to be empty. Yeah. What are they going to do? Are they going to have to, every movie theater in America or the world is just going to have to play either foreign movies or they're going to have to play, um, like reruns of classic movies, or what are they going to do? Yeah, like, to survive. Well, I think the conversation we talked about. They're already dying. No, oh, yeah. Tom Cruise is thanking people to, for for making an effort to come out. So their movie theaters are already dying, depending on Hollywood to make movies. Hollywood is all stalled because of the writers and all the greed going on mm -hmm. by the studios. What? How are the theaters going to survive? I, I I don't know, but I mean, I think a good think compromise. About, think about all those people that work in the theaters too. Oh yeah, all those jobs. Attached yeah, to Alan. the industry. Yeah. Our friend yeah. Well, Alan's yeah. fucking fine. <laughs> but, but I mean, you, yeah. but I think it would be a good compromise is you, you, there are like hourly wage what or whatever. What if they become porn theaters? No, okay. bring back porn theaters. Anyways, the brothels, yeah. <laughs> so the salary, so you bump up a like brothel the- is a, whore, a brothel is a whorehouse. Oh, uh, okay. It, was, it might as well porn be. Porn theater is like, you know Pee Wee Herman? He got caught jacking off in a porn theater. Oh, jeez. No, I'm good. You know that? No, I'm good. He, he, he was one of the original people who got canceled. He got canceled for mm. uh, getting caught. Yeah, no, I'm good. No, I think a good compromise would be bump up the salary for a writer, but yet give them incentives based on how good their shit does. Because I'm fine them getting all a good, you know, a good cut and everything, but I don't want these people for She-Hulk, especially writing that Megan the Stallion bit, to make all this good money and go, yeah, I'm making a lot of money because they think that was good. No. You shouldn't get rewarded for making that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you should lose money because that because no yeah maybe it should be like incentive you but. get yeah yeah you get a part of how well yeah it does yeah you know so it's very successful you get you get yeah. a good part of that and I mean, if you come up with shit like the ceo from bud light with the dylan mulvaney shit you deserve to get the can <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like yeah you get the bud light can uh, yeah get, get the fuck out of here. here's a can of bud light you know like
So I, I, I think it's a good compromise. They get a piece of the action of how well it does, but at the same time, you get hell for the accountability for how bad it, if it bombs. Yeah, that's you too, because you wrote it. In order to continue to be an actor, yeah. the Hollywood studios are saying, you have to sign over your digital face and body in perpetuity forever mm -hmm. that you make no royalties off of if you want to continue to act in movies. Yeah. And they're like, what? Well, no. yeah, no, I, I, ho I will, no, I, I hope that doesn't ha well, I hope that doesn't happen because that gives Vin Diesel the privilege to make five more Fast and Furious moves and just put AI Paul Walker in five. there. Yeah, five, five hundred. Hey, we can AI, we can AI Paul Walker in this bitch. We can make seek. We can make spinoffs. We can make That's you know, right. like no, fuck that. <laughs> no, let's let Paul Walker's legacy rest in peace. Let it just uh, yeah. They're gonna just, make an AI. Yeah. They're gonna use AI to make a new song that's called. It's been a long day with you, my friend. <laughs> yeah. To bring like, I'm fine. Back. Like, I'm fine like, for like, more one last movie. Yes. I'm fine for one last movie. Like, you turn, like, what they did with Sebastian Stan, supposedly for Star Wars with Luke Skywalker. Like, take someone that kind of looks like them and do a little CGI and go, okay, a little cameo. But if you get AI, you're going to be like, yeah, we can make Paul Walker Fast and Furious, you know, a prequel. <laughs> like, we're. Yeah. And look, like, AI, I'm sure some actors would be fine with it, but they're saying, like, we're not going to pay you for your AI copy. It just sucks. Like, yeah. Like that, like if you want to just continue to act at all, you have to sign over your rights for literally your persona. Yeah. That's insane. Watch full episodes of the Walk and Roll podcast on YouTube and Spotify.